Turn to our platform in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, we receive a word from the Lord that said nothing will be impossible for us. And I want to encourage as many of you that are going through difficult situation and you are joining us in prayer today. Some of you is your family. Some of you is your marriage. Some of you, they are your children. Some of you have financial situations around you. I want to make you understand that the word of the Lord Jesus Christ is truth. Facts can change. Facts can change. Facts can change with time. Facts can change with circumstances. But truth remains permanent. And Jesus said, he is the truth. And the Bible says, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. It doesn't matter the crisis you're going through. The word of God we receive today says, nothing shall be impossible for us. Amen. 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 And I want you as you hear this message, to shake from wherever you are. Take this word and put it upon your heart. That the Lord Jesus Christ said to you, in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20, that nothing shall be impossible for you. If you look, if you are sitting down where you are now, you're looking at the future, and the future is bleak, and you don't seem to have the bad and ability to fight your future, the word of God here told us that nothing shall be impossible for us. Perhaps you are, you are pursuing your career, and as you are listening to me now, there's clear evidence of hopelessness. You don't know how you're going to come out of it. The word of the Lord Jesus Christ said to us, nothing shall be impossible for us. Perhaps you are listening to me now, you are sick. And the doctor have analyzed your situation. That the case will have around their way after they have extorted the family. They send the man back home. They butchered the woman's body. She's lying. She's waiting now for death. I had a kind of case one more than once where they even operated on the woman and brought out her intestine to the surface and they sent her home. If somebody's intestine is on the surface, you have killed a person. You have killed a person. I respect the daughters, daughters on my platform and I know that all of, all of you don't behave that way. But if you are somewhere, your sickness is like that, and you are waiting for death. Let me tell you, after I have prayed for you today, you will leave. Amen. For nothing shall be impossible for us. Perhaps you have come to the age of getting married. And you are looking at yourself, you are going to touch something as a lady. And there is no prospect. Or maybe you are the man. Maybe your company is folding down because of the global economic meltdown. It's not only one country. USA is suffering. UK is suffering. Africa is suffering. But the word of the Lord Jesus in that Matthew 17 verse 20 said, I tell you the truth because Jesus is the truth. Your condition is not the truth. <laughs> the circumstances you are into is not the truth. The medical report is not the truth. Did you hear me? The history of your problem is not the truth. It's not the truth. The truth is with the Lord Jesus. He said, I tell you the truth. If you have faith, if you have faith, as the Catholic was preaching the morning, he said that faith is the evidence of things not seen or the certainty of things hoped for. In the realm of faith, you say, I have it. That's what happens in the realm of faith. In the realm of faith, you're not hoping to have it. In the realm of faith, you say, I have it. I have my healing. I have my deliverance. I have my breakthrough. I have my prosperity. I have my, break, my, my breakthrough. I have my fruit of the womb. I have my career. I have my success. I have my promotion. That is what happens in the realm of faith. So in the realm of faith, you are joining this prayer today because you already have it. Amen. That womb that is closed, the woman from Swaziland, the other woman from Swaziland, you are the one from India and you care about your business. The other one in South Africa. 
In the realm of faith, you think that I already have it. Sister Olive, we are praying for you from here. I said, I'll pray for you here. Me, yes, sir. Take it. I have it. Every one of you that hear this message today, he said, Jesus said, he is the truth. And now he proclaimed the truth. If you have faith, and he said it's not going to be a big faith. Stop praying for a big faith. Part of the things that we teach in theology does not make sense. He said this faith that will bring this result is a small faith. He said as small as a mustard seed. Mustard seed is the smallest garden plant. It's not the garden, the, 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 the pine tree is the smallest garden plant. Now it's not the kind of seed you can even count. It's not the tallest tree in the bush. He said it's the, the garden. In the area of pepper and tomato, and the seed is very minute. And Jesus Christ means that if you have faith at all, and I want to agree with you because it is your faith that made you to join this prayer today. It's the small enough of faith, that faith that made you to listen to this audio is small enough of faith. And Jesus Christ said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can now open your mouth and say. <laughs> you know, at times, remember one message I said to you last time, I said, what are you telling yourself? Most of the time we will have problems, we speak to ourselves. We speak, say, this my, is this my life, a useless life. This kind of sickness I'm carrying. This kind of man I married. This kind of wife I'm living. You begin to speak and defeat yourself. And when you speak, when you're speaking things with your mouth, you are the first person that hears it. Then you say, I'm just joking. I'm just talking. I'm just expressing myself. You are expressing yourself, the mouth you are giving to speak to the circumstance, to say something about the circumstance. You have turned the mouth to speak against yourself. Remember I told you that story sometime. I will go out and I will preach. I will lay out some people and they will get healed. And I will say, the Lord bless you in the name of the will say amen. Then I'll come back to my house. I will say, and I slap my children. <laughs> you deserve my mouth and cost my children. Said, what kind of foolishness is that? The hand with which I let her somebody on the crusade, but thank God healed. I come use and slap my son. The mouth with which I said, be healed. I forgot healed. I come say, you are a stupid child. That's, that, that, that's an error. And we don't know how powerful the situation is. Because in this context, the Lord Jesus Christ said, we should not deny the existence of the mountain. Did you hear me now? Yes, sir. Many times people say, I am rich when there's no money in your pocket. Brother, if you don't get money, you don't get money. You don't get time. If you're hungry, you're hungry. How can you be saying you are well satisfied when hunger they kill you? <laughs> say it is well, when it is not well. How can he use one passage of scripture to cancel the whole passage of the of scripture? Here he said there's a mountain. The Lord said there's a mountain. So he said there's a mountain. Yes. Yes. And I want to say, people listening to me, your own mountains are different. Your own mountains, your own mountains are different. Now there's a time in my life I will pray and say, going back, I'm making 10,000 naira every month. I will say 10,000 every month. I, I, a time I was making 100,000 a week, a month, a week. I will not do anything with it. The evil man will say, as big as your head is, so you have your, your, your own headache. You recognize the, the presence of this mountain. You recognize that you are sick. You recognize you're sick if you have sickness there. You recognize that you are poor, that the business is not moving. You recognize that things are not going on in your family. He said, then you can recognize it. But don't recognize it to promote it and exalt it. You recognize it to put it where it belongs. This sickness don't belong in my body. This poverty don't belong in my business. This desolation don't belong in my life. This emptiness don't belong in me. This emptiness don't belong to me. This chaos in my family don't belong here. Premature death, this is not your place. Failure in career, this is not your place. And if some demons are moving around in your body, then you can say, listen, I know you are a mountain. I know ordinarily, it's not easy to move you out. Ordinarily, doctors have said that you are incurable. Ordinarily, you killed my father. Ordinarily, you killed my uncle. 
Ordinarily, what you are controlling the economy of my country. In the normal sense, I know I cannot control you. But he that is the truth told me that if I have faith in him, I shall say to you, you mountain, move from here to there. So it means you're going to address the situation and say, listen, I know you are there. So if you can hear me now, begin to prepare yourself. Maybe something is moving in your stomach. You're going to lay hands on your and say, listen, I know you did here. I don't care what. At times you go to hunter, hunter say nothing is there. I you know something is there. Uh -huh. Am I correct? You enter your room, people say there's nothing in this room, but you know that a demon is going around your room. You know it. And then people are saying, but this man, huh, he doesn't have any problem, but you know there is a problem. The worst kind of situation is that when people are around you don't know you are going through situation and you're going through them. And that is why you are going to deal with it by faith. You want to connect to the realm of faith. You see, you want to say to the mountain, you mountain, you cannot continue to stay here. It is you that will say. And you say, but pastor, this thing is very, very powerful. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave Jesus the name that is above her. You are not confronting them in your own name. Some people are teaching us that we cannot confront big demons. Well, they are correct. You cannot confront big demons. But you are not, you're not confronting demons, the big demons. You are standing behind somebody. Authority is that somebody said you can speak in, in my behalf. The policeman on the road is not speaking on his own authority. He is backed by the president. If you think you are muscular, you beat up a policeman, you have seen the army will invade your territory. There's a back off for us. By the faith we have in the name of Jesus, we are going to address that mountain. That's what you say, get off from here. No matter your name, are you cancer, are you tumor, are you asthma, are you TB, are you poverty, are you cause, are you generational spell, whatever you are, you're going to command it and say, you, move from here. And he added that statement. He said, nothing will be impossible for you. I will refer you to John 11, 25. After the Lord Jesus finished that wonderful word of expression to matter, he said, matter, I am the resurrection, I am the life. If any believes in me, even if he dies, he shall live again. And if he's alive, he shall never die. He said, matter, me, I don't talk. I am God and have spoken. But you, do you believe it? It is faith you draw this thing. So I want to pray with you now, wherever you are. Prepare yourself. Nothing shall be impossible for you. Nothing. Somebody say nothing. Nothing. And the guy say nothing. Nothing. Say nothing. Nothing. Close your eyes and look around you with your spiritual eyes. Close your eyes and look around you in the house where you live. Close your eyes and look around you at your background. Just look around with your spiritual eyes. Look into that body of yours. Because you are about to address that mountain. And he said, nothing shall be impossible. The thing is that there's a path for you. You need to be in the Lord Jesus. If you know you are in the Lord Jesus, then you are operating under the cover of the Lord Jesus. Then you have to open your mouth and tell the mountain, you are living today. And you can't resist me. Why you can't resist me that I came here backed up by divine authority? I have the support of heaven on my side. I have the authority of Jesus on my side. I will not be like that foolish woman that went and bought umbrella, but did not open it. I stand on the ground, I say nothing. Begin to thank God now. Begin to thank the Lord. Say, God, I thank you for the authority I have. I thank you for the authority I have. I thank you because of where I stand. Now I know 
I don't need a big faith. Thank you, Father. Now I know I don't need plenty power. Now I know I don't need to be hungry days in the faith. Thank you. Now I know everything I have to do is done by your power and authority in the name of Jesus. Now I know they don't have to be big or small. At the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every knee shall submit. Nothing shall be impossible. Now begin to pray over yourself. You can lay hands on yourself. Lay hands on your body. By the you are praying about. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. I address you, mountain. I address you. In the name of Jesus. Be uprooted from my body. Be uprooted from my life. Be uprooted from my life. Be uprooted from my life. And get out. Prayer now. Your mountain, you mountain, I address you. I address you. I address you. I address you. By the power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power 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 in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray. Wherever you are, you can hear me. We want to pray this prayer again. If there is something growing in your body, if there is something around your house, if there is something happening in your marriage, you give it a name. You don't have a name. Give them a name. Give them quarrel, quarrel in the family. Give them troublesome child. Give them any kind of name. Give them complaining uh, machine. What are you going to give to it? We are going to address them now by the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, if we have faith, we don't, have, we don't need to have big faith. He said the faith that is small. That is, and now, I tell you, when you pray, believe your prayer. When you pray, learn to believe your prayer. Your prayer is the opportunity that God gave to you to say something about your life. To contribute something about your destiny, about your career. God gave you the instrumentality of prayer. So anytime you open your mouth to pray, believe your prayer. Are you ready now? Yes. Say, you mountain in my life. You mountain in my life. I didn't hear you. You mountain in my life. Now call that mountain by the name you know it. You know what it is like. Here we are fighting with a financial constraint. But I say, hell challenge. You mountain in my life. Say so you mountain in my life. You mountain in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power. By the authority in the name of Jesus. I confront you now. I confront. I command you now. I command. Get Father, I want to tell you for all the people that have had me today. 
I pray that the anointing power of God will locate every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command every closed womb to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command every law career to be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command every closed business to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command that every door devil has shut by the authority in Jesus' name. Be open now in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I bind the presence of every evil spirit Amen. over any child of God. Every demon in your body, in your environment, by the power in Jesus' name, I bind them in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Whatever you pray for today, whatever you talk God about today, today I release the angels of this commission to God and execute them. Amen. Yes, expect angelic visitation from here. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And I pray that your angels shall take your prayers and give them an express attention. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's give that seven tundras. Amen. Want you go? Amen. 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 I give you the assignment as always do make sure you share this message to all your contacts share message in faith and tell them that there's power in this message and I also want to make you understand that as you pray your prayer understand that this God is very faithful to answer the prayer now you can send me a message on whatsapp from these numbers plus two three four eight zero three five seven two four five two six I call it again, plus two three four eight zero three five seven two four five two six. You can also send me a message on Facebook. A man, the shop of Emmanuel, N like in us, J like in Jesus, Mosu, N W S U. Send me a message and let me know how you are blessed by this message. God bless you in Jesus' name. We pray.